Hey there fellow Factorians, Onerous here with another episode of Let's Learn Bobs and Angels. Last episode we started doing our Cobalt and uh, all we got to was clearing out a bunch of biters and setting up this rail station which I finished off off camera. As we can see here we've got our, uh, our iron, iron ore coming in here and I've made that four lanes and we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, then we've got our cobalt plate unloading, our, <clears throat> um, sorry, our, there's our cobalt ore over there, then we've got our carbon and our coke, and then here we are feeding it back in. And we only need one lane for that because it's not going to be, it's not going to be that quick. Um, now I do have trains, uh, I thought I had trains set up with this, no, it looks like, looks like we don't. Let's uh, let's pop these trains in. All right, we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get these four trains going, and let's get some carriages. Do I have enough? Yes, I do. All right, now we do need to get rid of that guy. There we go. Okay, so this is our cobalt ore. Let's see where were we picking cobalt ore up from we're picking up from here all right go there full cargo and then uh cobalt ore drop off empty cargo wonderful all right let's not stand in the way off you go <clears throat> this guy is our iron ore we were taking you uh well, we'll pop that station in we were taking you way over here way over here to our styrite styrite processing uh, iron ore, full cargo, empty cargo, I like to fill up first, off you go. Uh, now this is our cobalt plate, carbon, alright carbon loading, empty cargo and you're going down here, uh, ooh, looks like we've got a problem with our carbon, we'll have to, uh, we'll have to fix that up. If we've got time at the end of this episode we'll go do that. Off you go, and then last of all, here is our coke, which we need for the um, steel. I'm not sure. No, the cobalt plate. The uh, sorry, the yeah, um, yes, cobalt or the cobalt ingots. That's it. Oh man, so I'm so confused. It's been uh, it's been a day since I did the episode. So. Uh, yes, carbon plate, coke unloading, and go here, fill up, and then come back and empty cargo. Alright, off you go. There we go, so our trains are away, now um, we are going to have to go and grab some goodies, because I don't have anything required to make the things we're going to need. Well, I've got some things, but definitely not enough. Alright, so let's run back over to the base, and uh, see what we can grab. We need to grab... Uh, we won't need that. We'll definitely need a lot of blast furnaces. Chemical furnaces, I don't think so. Uh, we will need induction furnaces. And we're probably going to need more chemical plants. Let's, let's get a uh, let's get a 10 stack of chemical plants. Uh, we will need that for the oxygen, I believe, at some point. Uh, I don't know why I've got that on me or that. Uh, let's get rid of those things. All right. Let's jump out here and run down to grab some stuff. So first of all we need some ore sorters. Yeah, there we go, there's 20 ore sorters. Um, blast furnaces. We are going to need... Uh, I'm going to grab a few because the steel actually uses double the amount. Um, induction furnaces. Oh, 10 already, that's probably alright. Uh, this is chemical plants. We can grab some of those. Like we've met that, I can remove that. <clears throat> what do we got here? Uh, casting machines, yeah, we're going to need a stack of them. Uh, in fact, that is probably not even going to be enough. Um, I wonder... We might, need to, we might need to come back and grab them. Um, let's just make sure that we have everything we need. So, these are done in casting machines, yep. All good. Um, this is made in induction furnaces, lovely. Our cobalt ingots we are making from the base cobalt recipe, which is done in a blast furnace. Nice. So steel is made in a blast furnace from sorry, 
Steel is made in a blast furnace from iron ingots, which is made in a blast furnace. From processed iron, which is made in more processes. I think. I think we've got everything we need. And uh, we will we'll soon find out, won't we? Let's uh, let's take this guy back here. You'll uh, reassess if there's a full station. Um, oh, we need a radar. So we forgot to put a radar out there. Do we have any radars on us? Yes, we do. It's nice. Actually, we've got a request for radars, which is good. So uh, first things first, we'll set up a steel steel section. Uh, but our, hang on, our cobalt is on this side, so maybe we'll do cobalt first. Um, Alright, let us pop down a radar, that's what it's going to do. Radar, radar, radar. I made you out of clay, there we go. Uh, that seems like a terrible place for it. Let's pop it over here so we can have another lane there if we need it. Uh, but that will give us radar coverage, which is nice. So, coming over here. Um, with a fair bit of room to play. I don't know what these actually give us. Let's have a look. Um, what did we get from that? Crystal rock? Just stone? Um, yeah, just stone, alright. Probably need to do something else with those if you actually want to use them, I would suggest. Uh, definitely not. Not just stone. Okay, but. Let's have a look at our recipe for cobalt ingots. Here we go. Uh, we need carbon and we need cobalt. All done in a blast furnace. That's actually really, really easy. Um, oh, so that's our coke. So this is our carbon here. So we'll bring that across. Uh, let's leave, say, that amount. And we'll go this way, not that way. All right. And someone should be able to jump over that. Uh, this one is our cobalt, so we'll take that as well. All right. So now we have cobalt and we have uh, one of each: one cobalt and uh, one uh, carbon. All right. So let's have a look at some numbers here, shall we? Numbers, numbers, numbers. All right. This requires 24 cobalt ore in 4 seconds, so 6, six ore um, a second, with 1.5 is 9 ore. Uh, so we can only have 3 of these per, per blast furnace, that seems... 3 blast furnaces for 30, that'd be 27, 3.5-ish. Um, Alright, well that is pretty low, I'll tell you what. And uh, we are going to need a stack inserter. Stack inserter for this, making cobalt ingots. Alright, so six a second. Uh, carbon is just one and a half a second, two a second. We'll, we'll put another stack in because why not? There we go, alright. So that there, that there. Let's pop some power poles here and then just. There's three. Um, wow, that's a little bit sad, isn't it? A little bit sad. But what we can do is, if that is our carbon, uh, we can, can just bring this second row of cobalt here and do that on the other side. We might actually make, we might actually make this to four. Um, and that way, uh, with four of them, we'll, we won't get a full thing out of the end, but we'll get a few. And we'll fully utilize the uh, the belt. Uh, so let's just line that up a bit nicer. Uh, let's line that up a little bit nicer, because that disgusts me. Um, uh, that's the alignment there. All right. And of course, these don't connect, because why would they? There we go. So these will get carbon, they can use the carbon for the fuel, and they'll get cobalt ore uh, when we have such things available. Now, why is the cobalt ore not filling up? I thought there was a heap in here. Um, you are full. Uh, what happened to you? Oh, I see what's going on. Alright. Let's, uh, let's copy that to there. 
Can't do that. All right. Uh, what we've done here is I've doubled up on on our trains. I might need to actually go and remove those trains to fix this. All right. Minor mistake. I do recall now that I think about it. I actually set those trains up uh, when I was making making it and uh, yeah started filling them already so what we're going to do is let me see if I can copy this one mine it mine you guys um, okay, we'll leave you there I'll run over here now I'm not sure if this works if I just copy the recipe to this one whether it will automatically appear but let's find out shall we right Ah uh, yeah, perfect, alright. Automatic. Fill up and empty. Let's go. Great. So let's jump on our train and then I think we're going to have the same problem with the iron ore. Uh, which is a much further away, isn't it? Let's have a look over here. Uh, yep, there's our train waiting. And there's the previous train. Set up and ready to go. Because we were for planning and totally forgot about it. Alright, let's move here. Uh, the good thing about having a train based base, a train network for your base, is actually the speed to move around. Um, trains are quite quite speedy and you don't have to control anything. I'm not even touching the keyboard at this point. So uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty handy. We might want to check on our power too, just making sure that that is keeping up because we will have, we will have a lot of a lot of power production stuff. Alright, so let's copy that and then mine it. And of course we know we have a fair bit of solid fuel. This time I'm just going to put this guy on manual mode. And we'll uh, we'll go up here, maybe this one here. And then we can run over here to our iron train. And paste. Shift and left click. Uh, that did not work. Alright, wonderful. Well, uh, it's an easy one to set up, isn't it? Over here, and then over here, and empty. Iron ore, iron ore. Let's see you on the flip side. Uh, there's our copper ore, looks like it's going pretty slowly. Ah, uh, yes, I, that's right, I did set this up, and that's what I changed. Um, I put all the lanes coming into just those two. Yeah, yeah, it's all coming back to me now. Alright, dangers of not doing everything at once. So let's head back over to our uh, our base, and now we can spend some time setting up uh, the things we need. Now we don't have any carbon coming in, which is really annoying. Um, I definitely need to fix this up. We need to put in uh, another one of these, which is what uh, eight ore crushers and thirty. Wow, uh, thirty chemical plants and some liquefiers. All right, I don't know if we've got those materials actually, are uh, those assembly items actually being made, but we'll, uh, we'll have a look. All right, now I do want to get rid of some of this solid fuel, which I just have too much of. Um, but here we go, we've got cobalt now, uh, which is lovely. And so that's coming through, we'll just quickly double check, we've got 30 a second, and this is using six a second uh, but it's got one and a half, so it is using nine a second, nine, eighteen, thirty-six. Yep. All right. That is that. And we are correct in carbon and cobalt ore. Yes. All right. So next up, we want to uh, we want to turn this iron. Uh, how far? Okay. So it's all here. I want to turn. I want to turn all four of these into uh, into steel, and the reason for that is uh, it is just a terrible, terrible ratio. So what we're going to do is something like this. Uh, we need uh, these ore processors. Uh, can I start here? I can. Okay. Uh, yep. Maybe. I'm going to be. Uh... You know what? Pretty sure we've done this somewhere else, haven't we? Why am I reinventing the wheel uh, when we've got 
Steel being made somewhere over here? No, that's not it. Uh, this is it. All right. Uh, that's that is not ideal, is it? I feel like we can be direct inserting that. Um, all right, let's uh, let's figure this out then, shall we? So you guys are making processed iron, and you are using uh, two a second. So we'll just put some fast inserters here. All right. Uh, yep. Alt mode is off, of course. So these guys are then producing. We're going to forget about crafting speed because everything has a 1.5. Um, so these are producing two a second. And this guy, we're not going to put him that close, that's for sure. Uh, this guy making iron ingots from that and coke. Um, it uses uh, eight in four seconds, so it uses two a second. That's right. Uses eight in four seconds. Uses two a second. These are producing, uh, sorry, one process iron a second. Yep. So that is the right ratio of these. Uh, we also need to bring our coke into that. So let's do that. Let me bring this uh, coke across here. Thanks, guys. And I'm not going to run away from you. you guys can charge up. All right. We go bring that there. We'll bring it up, up there. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump across, and we are going to put a power pole there, a power pole there, and a power pole there. I think that will be nice and neat. And yeah, I think we are then going to need uh, that there. So something like that should should work. Uh, we are going to need an inserter here that is picking up from there and dropping off there. Um, sadly, this one actually needs another inserter, so that will fuel it and provide the coke. And then we just need uh, two inserters here that are moving. What did I say? Two a second? Yeah, easy. Um, so we can actually shrink this down if I wanted to. Um, I think I will. I think I will. Let's just let's make it a little bit more compact, shall we? Um, fortunately, that means everything must go. And then pop that there. And then that there. And now go to there. And then here we go. Those two there. Uh, and not a huge fan of of that. Let's just do that. All right. Now let's. Uh, the other thing I want to check is how much is this using? This is using two, uh, four iron ore, two seconds, two iron ore a second. These are 1.5, so three a second. So we can have ten of these. Yes, I think we've established that fact many a times. Um, let's copy that section like that. So. Uh, yeah, that's going to do that. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And of course, I forgot to put outputs. Uh, well, well, now the output is going to be uh, slightly different. It is going to be steel ingots. Uh, now it needs iron ingots and oxygen. Um, so that power pole there is actually not going to work, which is slightly annoying. Um, uh, well, yeah, we can keep the power pole there if we don't minimize, maximize the space. Um, so what we need to do is we need to have oxygen coming in here, um, and then that feeding straight in because this produces um, 24 iron ingots in four seconds. And this uses 24 iron ingots in four seconds. So um, uh, that is six a second. We'll need some uh, some stack inserters doing that. Yeah, I think I think that's going to be the way. Um, we're going to get a power pole where we want the power pole to be, unless of course we put the power pole here. Put this power pole here, and that one there. Ooh, okay. 
Okay, okay, let's, uh, sorry, let's get this here. Let's remove all the power poles. This is like super important, of course. Um, let's remove all those power poles. Uh, then this one can actually be here. Uh, and we're going to need another one there. And another one there just for just for uniformity. Now if we copy that, we should be able to... Uh, no, let's copy that. Let's copy that. We should be able to paste, 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 and kind of paste here, but let's get rid of that. All right. Um, but, oh man, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Because the whole reason we were doing that was to enable us to put this right there. Like that. Yes, that is right. All right. So that then is uh, a whole belt of iron ore going to steel. And this is outputting six in four seconds. Uh, which is nothing. Uh, that is one and a half a second. Um, but it's actually nine in four seconds, so it's a bit over two. One, two, three, four, five, so that's about ten. Um, we can then mirror that on the other side. I think that will be uh, the go. All right. So this will have that, that. Because that is only outputting uh, six every four seconds. Yep, fast insert up. We'll do the trick. Uh, let us copy all of that, all of that there, flip it around, and uh, of course that's not going to line up, is it? Let's remove all of that and move it one down. And let's see if that lines up now. All right, and then we'll uh, we'll almost have well um, oh, look at this power pole craziness. Let's just look at that. Why why would you do that? I don't know, bots. I don't know. Um, of course, this setup here is going to line up with that perfectly, isn't it? Well, well, well. Um, that is a little bit of well, it's not it's not the worst problem. All right. We can do that. Uh, this one here will go there. All right. Uh, now we need to uh, need to spin these. Spin that. Spin that. Spin that. Spin that. Spin. 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 All right. And then we'll have another one here. Now we just need to split this off here. Let's actually, uh, oh, that's, that actually looks much nicer, doesn't it? If I do that, we can do that, and that. Look at that, all right. Everything's coming back together. And you feed into there like so. And, oh, uh, what have we forgotten? I'll tell you what we've forgotten. Uh, we have forgotten fuel for these these steel refineries here. That is most unfortunate. Now, how can we how can we fix that? Um, could run more carbon, more coke. The carbon would be a better option. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna fix this. Uh, I'm gonna run carbon up there. Like that. Okay, so what we're going to do. And then we'll have uh, this guy going from here, feeding into there. Nope, sorry, picking up from there, feeding into there. And then we're going to copy that and do that. So we don't need to continue any further. Um, and then on this side, uh, we will have that picking up from there. All right. 
Uh, is it ideal? No, not really. Um, but it's going to work. All right. Now, uh, assuming that we've actually got all that working, which um, I'm pretty confident we do, let's pop some of this stuff away. Um, we will now end up with uh, this outputting nowhere, which is lovely, isn't it? Um, this is outputting 24, so 6 a second. We're going to need uh, one of these. And of course, a belt. 6 a second. Uh, what do I say? Yes, 6 a second, so that's a full belt. Um, I'm actually going to put two of these so we can make sure we can actually get it out. So we need to. Uh, use both lanes, whichever lane is free you will use and then uh, likewise over this side we will do the same thing and uh, we'll actually get we'll end up with two oh, that's interesting, we'll end up with two lanes of cobalt ore uh, cobalt ingots which is way too much uh, way too much because if we have a look at the recipe and we just connect these guys up um, oh, there's no there's no perfect way to do it but there we go All right. um, let's have a look at the recipe again our cobalt steel plate cobalt molten cobalt steel sorry uses 12 cobalt ingots and 24 steel ingots so the steel is actually the biggest the biggest hurdle here um, and this is producing what do we say um, one and a half a second uh, one and a half a second so with our extra one and a half bit over two a second one two three four five uh, that is not a full red belt um, so we actually probably only need one one of those yeah anyway one of those we'll need a second one of these is what we're gonna need um, I'll do that off camera I think and that will create a single steel belt of uh, of steel, single red belt. Sorry. Um, let's bring that across here, and then that can go across here. All right, and then we'll have um, another red, another belt of. Okay, let's uh, let's just put this down. Um, we, we need another. I'm going to put it over here. Okay, I'm not going to put it there just yet. We're going to bring it in. Um, and then we're going to figure out how much how much we can build. Um, so we need induction furnaces, I believe. Induction furnace. Uh, molten cobalt is done in an induction furnace. Yes, it is. All right. Where are our induction furnaces? Here we go. Um, so... We have the stuff coming in for molten cobalt. Uh, this is producing. It's uh, that is not right, is it? Molten cobalt from cobalt. Oh, we need to make the cobalt ingots. What recipe am I looking at? Cobalt steel. Ah, molten cobalt steel. What is molten cobalt used for? Let's just have a quick look at that. Um, molten, co molten cobalt is used for cobalt plate, uh, which is apparently used for nothing. Um, that's weird. All right. Well, let's not make any of that. Um, yes, yeah, so this is the recipe we want. Molten, molten cobalt steel. Uh, molten cobalt steel. That's the one. So this is using. Um, 24 steel ingots every four seconds, so six a second, so nine a second, um, which is a full red belt will um, use four. Um, yeah, all right. One, two, three, four. That will consume a full red belt of steel, uh, which we don't actually have. Let's let's not. Uh, Get ahead of ourselves, but we'll we'll bring in the uh, we'll bring in the rest. Um, now, unfortunately, we want kind of no, no actually, just um, let's bring that down there and that down there. 
All right, let's get some stack inserters. We're running a bit low on them. It's okay. Uh, you're going to pick up from the far end. And then the output for this is molten. Uh, we'll do that. All right, let's copy you down here. Now, each of these is outputting. Uh, have we not got the recipe in here? Molten cobalt steel, thank you. Each of these is outputting 360 every four seconds, so it's at 90 a second with our one and a half is 135 a second. And then that is going to go into a casting machine that is making cobalt steel plate. And that is using 10 a second. Wow, that's going to be a lot of molten steel plate. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4 times 13. Wow, that is, uh, yeah, 13 and a half. So this is, these two produce 270 a second. Whew. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. 270 a second. Um, actually, let's not worry about the one and a half. Let's just focus on the normal numbers. So. 90 a second. Each of these can produce, can support nine, nine of these. All right, wow. Um, and each of these is putting out one cobalt steel plate a second, or one and a half. Um, so 30 would make, 20 of these would make a uh, a red belt. 20 of these would make a red belt. That's pretty good. Alright, let's bring a red belt in. Uh, 20 is a lot. Uh, okay, let's put a pole, say, there. That can go like that. Uh, that is 4, 6, 8. And uh, we'll go up this way. 10. There we go. Alright, so 10 of these at uh, one and a half a second is producing 15. That's great. We pop this on the other side. I shouldn't need the power poles, should I? Let's see if I can do it without the power poles. Um, and then lining it up perfectly. Probably don't need that destroyed. Well, alright, destroyed it is. Um, is that power? Yeah, it is powered. Okay. Okay then. Um, now we just need to bring the molten steel in. That one needed it. There we go. Uh, molten cobalt, sorry, not steel. Molten cobalt steel. Definitely don't need that one. There's nothing there. Okay. So, theoretically, that that will do what we uh, what we need it to do. All we need is, uh, sadly, bring in some carbon. How much time we got left? Uh, we are out of time. Well, um, I think I think that means next episode we need to sort out our uh, carbon creation and maybe make it a little more, a little higher priority than the. Um, the other products because we're not really using coal for anything and uh, yeah we'll I wonder if we can make oh, I don't know we'll see if we can make it um, sort of self-correct so if one material is lower uh, we can make more of the other but that will be next episode and sadly we can't actually test whether this works until until we get to that episode so um, yeah let's see what happens uh, we're not quite at a full red belt, I've got to say, because we don't have enough steel to support this. Um, uh, hang on. Well, the 20 of these require uh, 200 molten cobalt a second. Yep. And each one of these is producing 90. So actually, three of these... I think we might actually have enough steel to make a full red belt. Anyway, we'll, uh, we need to get the carbon sorted because everything else... Everything else is running, um, but yeah, without without the carbon, uh, oh oxygen! Ah, almost forgot to do our oxygen. So 
quickly before we forget. Let's have a look. Uh, each of these is using uh, 60 oxygen, 4 seconds, 15 oxygen a second. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 10, 150 oxygen a second with a crafting speed of 1.5 is 225 oxygen a second. All right. Can we make 225 oxygen a second? A good question. Uh, we've got a bit of room. We've also got some grenades. We really need explosives upgrades, don't we? Alright. Enough of that. Um, let us do a chemical plant. See how much this actually outputs. Uh, you are outputting nitrogen and oxygen from compressed air. And we need 225 a second. Each one of these produces uh, 50 a second because their crafting speed is 2. So uh, we will need five of these, like so. Um, of course, let's make it a little bit more centered. And uh, let's copy that recipe across. We're going to do that. We need to, uh, we need to do that. So we need to flare off the nitrogen. And uh, that, 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 I guess, and. Ah, so close. Um, Alright, well, we can save us going back. We'll uh, do a bit of this, a bit of this, a bit of this. Seems like such a waste, but, uh, you know, we, uh, we don't have to go back right at this point. Um, now. Get that there, there, there. Alright, you need to go from there to there. And like that. We've got 15 left. Um, that will allow us to flare this off with a flare stack. Overflow, no, just a flare stack. Uh, like that. Power these guys up. And we just need to provide some uh, compressed air. So each of these is using uh, 100 compressed air a second. We need 500 compressed air a second. I don't think we can do that uh, with what we have on us. 500 compressed air a second. Uh, here we go, air filter. Um, let's see what you can make. You can make uh, 200 every 3 seconds with a craft speed of 2. Um, 200 every 6 seconds, sorry, so 200 every 3 seconds is correct, um, and that is like 66 compressed air, so it actually need 500 divided by 66, I can't do that in my head, um, let's say uh, 3, 6, 9 or something of these, yeah, uh, a lot. Alright, well that's probably uh, probably our next our next mission. Alright, let's do something like that. And uh, and that. Right, except for that. There we go. Alright, we'll have to uh, we'll have to get a few more of these. And uh, yeah, I'll do I'll do this off camera, we'll I'll get it all working. I might fix up the carbon off camera as well. And uh, when we come back we'll see this beautiful no, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the carbon on camera. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's uh, let's leave it there, and tomorrow we'll fix up our carbon production. We're going to expand that um, and try. Yeah, we're going to try and do some smarts if we can, thinking about uh, what's going where. All right. Well, uh, that being said, as always, I'd love to hear your comments. Uh, we've got the cobalt set up basically complete. I'll, uh, off camera I will get more air filters and and uh, fix that up. Um, but yes, we'll come back, we'll do the carbon in the next episode and then we'll actually test to see whether this works because without the carbon we've actually got nothing here that's operating. So fingers crossed and I'll see you tomorrow.